Ever since the COVID, the concept of work from home has been implemented in the majority of the IT companies. Please be aware that the work from home is not a theory that developed as a result of the pandemic. In addition to IT, several firms attempted to work remotely throughout the pandemic. However, remote work has been an option in the IT sector for more than 20 years now. Even if remote work is here to stay, not all IT businesses favor it. Some people might choose to use it, some might choose to use a complete office and some would choose to use a hybrid model. That is partly office and partly work from home. During the year 2020 and 2021, most of the companies allowed their employees to work remotely and now in the year 2022, some of the companies have asked their employees to rejoin the office, especially from June 2022. Many IT firms, including Microsoft, Cognizant, Amazon, Flipkart, TCS, SAP, have uh, reinstated work from home policies and anticipate that all staff members will return to the office. The majority of workers, however, are not prepared to return to office cubicles. 20 to 30 percent of employees are already back in the office in several IT service providers, particularly where the complex engineering and design concepts are needed. The fact is, employees simply don't want to return to the office full time. Many companies like Infosys, Tech Mahindra, HCL, TCS, Wipro, and KPMG have all adopted their working model. The majority of the IT firms have asked the employees to work from office twice or thrice a week. Some companies have given the privilege to the staff to adopt the hybrid model of working, which offers employees the autonomy to choose to work wherever and however they are most productive. Many of the employees are not comfortable going back to office. Let us know why. Saving on additional cost is one of the benefits of remote work. In India, behind rent, Travel is the second biggest expenses for the majority of workers. Additionally, employees overspend in the office cafeterias on gas, tolls and other errands. Eliminating commute time is one of the benefits of working from home. As a result, you can be more productive and save time by eliminating the need to travel to the office. In a typical office setting, you frequently transition between duties and receive different viewpoints regarding the importance of each activity. But when working remotely, you have more autonomy over your work as long as you practice good time management and discipline. This might help you prioritize your responsibilities, add your style to your work and take responsibility for the jobs that have been given to you. The absence of typical office distractions is one benefit of working from home and quieter surroundings aid in completing the work more quietly and calmly. Simple time management skills and to-do list to monitor important chores are all that is needed. The freedom of working from home is another benefit. Employees can save a ton of time and work during their most productive hours if they don't have to travel for work. According to the survey of remote employees surveyed, 90% reported that working remotely increased their productivity on par with working in an office. Another 74% uh, claimed that working from home would be better for their mental health after the epidemic and 84% claimed that doing so would make them happier, many of them even willing to forego a wage rise. Companies that offer permanent work from home or like Atlassian, Brex, Coinbase, Dropbox, Quora, Twitter, Shopify, Slack, Spotify, Square, Upwork, uh, Facebook, Meta, Netflix and many other companies. Companies that have proposed hybrid work cultures are like Google, Siemens, Amazon, TCS, Infosys, Wipro, KPMG, Cognizant, etc. So concluding my video, the explanation is straightforward. Flexibility is what many companies are providing for their employees. There are various hybrid work models available today, but firms are giving employees more freedom to choose. Well, work from home or work from office mostly depends on the employee preference and the corporate policies. The majority of business choose to have hybrid workplaces which let workers work from home or in an office as desired. Working from home will therefore continue in a wide sense, but a significant portion of them will be a hybrid strategy. So hope you like this video. I'll sign off now. I'll see you in my next video very soon.